Hi, I'm Mark Clegg and welcome to the Photographer Academy and today we're talking the speed light questions and this is about ratios. Um, out of the poll of questions we put out there, it came back as one of the high one to kind of just unravel a little bit more about using speed lights with ratios. So uh, what I've done is I've set up a simple three light setup here. Doesn't help if you've only got one speed light, then ratios really doesn't ma matter. Um, but realistically what I've got is an on-camera flash that is acting as a master this is not gonna fire, okay? Even if you see a blip, a flash come out of it, it's only sending a signal if it was an infrared model. In this case, it's wireless, so it shouldn't. Then we've basically got two flashes, uh, A and a B flash. Uh, a is my left, uh, B is gonna be my right. And what we're gonna do is on the back of the camera, of the camera here, once we're in our kind of master mode, so if you kind of look on the back, you'll see that this is set as a master. And also we've got this ability to actually change the ratio. So as it is, it's A and B, okay? There's another facility where we can actually bring C live as well, uh, or basically work all of them together. In this case, we're gonna be working A and B, all right? The first things to do, let's kind of just see the first shot out. And when we look at the shot, uh, you'll see straight, straight away, if we look at the evenness of the um, shadows from the vase on the white plinth, you'll see more or less they're kind of giving us an equal amount of uh, light, in other words, a, an equal amount of shad shadow. Obviously, things are gonna change, depends if one's got one layer of diffusion, two layers of diffusion, if one's closer than the other, and so on and so on. Anyway, but remember, we're in TTL mode, so there is a thinking flash going on in here. So uh, basically what we've got is in a one-to-one, -one, so if we look on the back of the flash again, if we're in the one-one mode, this means that both flashes are told to fire in an even way. If I wanna give dominance to one side or another, if I basically just click on group and then I press my set button and I dial now to the left-hand side, okay, and we take the same shot. What we're now doing is giving a more balance of light. So in other words, more light from one side than the other. And you can see, or, uh, see automatically, in fact, forget the photograph, just look at the shadow on the plinth. Now, because of the um, shadow coming from the vase to the right-hand front corner of the plinth, we can see straight away that the dominance of the flash is coming in from the left-hand side. So in other words, when we dial towards the uh, anti-clockwise position, we're putting dominance to the left flash. So what that means, of course, now, is that if we um, press the group again and the set button, and now we dial it all the way to the right-hand side, so in a clockwise direction, we go to the full 1-8, okay? That means it's gonna put all the dominance onto the image, as far as the light direction and power, is from the image coming in, uh, the light coming in from the right-hand side, and you can see it straight away, okay? So um, when you start to use the ratios, um, try and decide on which is the direction to the flash that you want first because obviously otherwise you're just gonna be fiddling around kind of creating the uh, uh, difference, makes the difference as it were. Um, so it's just one thing to do one job. So if I kind of just pick up one of the speed lights now, the great thing about working in, T in TTL mode, if I want um, say a little bit of fill or whatever, and I'm using it in ratio mode, this is more often where we're gonna be a able to kind of really control the difference, the look and the feel to the light anyway. So let's keep it in exactly the same setting as the last shot. All we've done is move that flash. Remember, all the dominance is to the light at the one to two o'clock position in the, cor uh, the corner. Uh, we haven't changed anything else except moving that other position of the flash. So now you can see how the other flash together, they're doing a job, all right? Because they're in the same, um, quality of light, it still knows that that backlight is going to be the dominant light, whereas the one at the three o'clock position is just going to be a kind of a, used as a kind of a fill. All right, so let's do it back into the one-to-one -one position now. Remember, all we're doing is pressing the um, group button, then back into the set, recompose it. So this is both flashes given out the same amount of illum illumination. Now look at the cross on the shadow of the vase going to both the left 
bottom left and top left uh, as far as the um, uh, angles and the shadows are concerned. So you can see that two lights are really going on in here. And we definitely don't want that kind of double direction of shadow. It just, just looks fake here. Yeah? So um, now if I just go exactly as the way as we did before, pressing the group uh, once more, sorry, dialing it back fully into the anti-clockwise. This is going to put all the dominance now where? Onto this light of the three o'clock, okay, which was the original A flash. So now we can see the shadow on the vase only really has one direction. It's going away from us. So that kind of allows us to work uh, pretty well to do with kind of looking at the quality. So for me in this kind of image, if I was looking more of a kind of a, a little bit more of a fine art quality, the first thing I would do is press in my group, press in the set, dialing it all the other way, okay? So I've got the dominance in that uh, one o'clock, two o'clock light as it were. Recomposing and we're back to here. So if we do that, we can see once more, we've brought that dominance to the back, okay? Now, if you look on here, we're at one eight, all right? So it, the, dif uh, the difference is around about half a stop, okay? So we're at two stops now. If we just press group now again, pressing the set, let's bring it up to the one two. So this is, Again, more dominant from the back corner light, the two o'clock light, with some more light actually coming in from the three o'clock position. So you can start to see how this kind of thing works together. Um, so as far as the ratios are concerned, um, when you're working in a, por a portrait, in exactly the same way as we're working here, I would try and encourage you to use the lights from the same side where possible, because we do live on a planet with one sun. It means the direction to the shadow is coming in the same way. If you're looking to use more than one light, obviously you will need to do that with ratios. You need to make sure whatever light is gonna be your main dominant light source. And of course, just because I've left them very, very close to each other, it doesn't have to be in that way at all. We could take the other light fully away uh, um, without any trouble. Um, the one thing to notice, in fact, uh, if you didn't see, uh, basically um, on the um, back of the speed light here, um, I've turned this top flash off, okay? And you can see I've pressed this little um, button on the left-hand side here, and this means the flash is gonna go off, and this means the flash is not going to. So let's show you again. If I just go to group, we'll re push all the power back into that right-hand corner once more. We'll just return there and we'll do a shot, first of all, without the top flash go in. When I'm talking about the top flash, I'm talking about the hot, uh, the hot shoe mounted flash. So there's our image. Now if I switch it on, okay, this also brings this into the equation of, of the actual exposure as such. So it starts to put that little bit of uh, shadow on the back there. Um, so again, as far as uh, ra ratios are concerned, they're not as simple or as complicated as you might think they are. It's just technique. So in the same way, sit down in your living room, glass of wine or coffee, and basically put something in the, in the way, just like I've done today, and, and just practice um, as far as light left, light right is concerned. So as you dial the ratio to the left, it means that if possible, keep that light on the left-hand side. It means that if you dial to the right-hand side, that any light on your right-hand side is going to have that kind of uh, dominance more. But where possible, A, B, and C kind of almost think about each of the flashes or stick even a big letter on each one so you know what's doing what. Hope this explained the ratios using speed, speed light. See you on the next one.